all the video game fans out there that have been praying for a really good first ever video game movie, they dropped the new full length this time trailer to Assassin's Creed, giving us a little bit more story, insight, and it looks really good. Now there were some cheesy lines in it, but fuck every action movie has that. Other than that, the acting looks really good. The uh, uh, special effects look amazing. They're actually using real people, like Carmen uh, pointed out last time, doing the leaps of faith. It, it looks amazing. The the aesthetics of it all in the city of Spain, the ancient city of Spain, look amazing. Um, the filter is a little yellowish for me, but that's what everybody does to do ancient times. So I'm just gonna sweep that on the rug. That don't bother me. Like most people, they won't even notice. I wish to God they would stop using rock songs. For Assassin's Creed, though, like first they had the Kanye West and the teaser, and now they got this. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. You have a great, amazing trailer with great actors, great action scenes, real stakes going back and forth between the sci-fi world and this ancient fantasy world. Don't fuck it over with the music. But other than that, this has got me really hyped to see this movie, man. Uh, it's definitely taking the story from the games, but it's you know adapting it to a movie to actually make it work that's what you have to do for a wider audience you have to adapt but it's using the storyline of the Templars the Assassins and it's also doing the Astrogo and the uh, Animus so it's all there we're gonna get into it I can't wait for this movie to drop only thing that's worrying me is it's dropping around the exact same time as Star Wars Rogue One that could really hit its bank account numbers even if it's like the best video game movie that will ever be made Dropping it around the time of Star Wars, ah, oh, that's iffy because you might lose out on a lot of money just because of that. What do you guys think? Um, well, do you want to go first? I'll go quickly in my mouth. Go. <laughs> okay. Um, crap, I forgot. So, <laughs> I guess I'll talk about something else until I get to that point where I remember what the hell I was going to say. But I think it might be a good strategy for them to bring it out um, around the time of Star Wars. Because obviously, you know, they're... Star Wars is going to make a lot of money anyway. People want to see Rogue One, so they... <laughs> um, so they don't have to worry about that. But I think the hope is, like, people will be like, Oh, hey, nerdy thing. Oh, hey, other nerdy thing that we can see. And maybe they'll kind of pull people in because they do kind of have that same combat technique. It's a little like one's not as science fiction-y as the other one. The other one's more historic I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, maybe. Um, but there was something that you said that I wanted to comment on and I don't remember what it was. I should have wrote it down. Uh... Was it the uh, whole music bullshit that they keep putting to these trailers? Yeah, or? it was the music, because I totally um, thought that they were gobbling at the beginning. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was like, why does this sound like they're gobbling like turkeys? <laughs> it sounds like their shackles are sucking like, cock. What's wrong here? I, know, I was like, gobble, gobble, gobble. Like, what? <laughs> why does this have to do with Assassin's Creed? <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah. That's all I had. I mean, maybe it could play out bad. It could really go 50-50, but I mean, the Star Wars people, there's got to be a, like a pretty good chunk of them that are really into Assassin's Creed also. Because regardless of one being historical and one being sci-fi, they're both, they're, you know, they're both filed under fantasy and I think, you know, that pulling one fan base in from the other one isn't all too foreign for games, or sorry, games, movies um, at any time. To be fair, yeah, I agree with you. I mean, there's definitely going to be a large pump, uh, chunk that want to see both. That's for sure because yeah. sci-fi, fantasy, uh, a lot of Star Wars fans are also. There's a good chunk of them that are video game fans and probably know what Assassin's Creed are. And if you are a video game fan, you are you've been hoping for a good video game movie, even if it's from a game that you don't like. As long as it's a good movie off of a video game, that's like a win to us. And we, a lot of us have been waiting since God the first Mario Brothers movie, which is such a fucking tragedy. I uh, love that movie, sir. It's fun, but boy, it should never have had that. It's one of those fun, awful movies. Like, it's it's awfully bad, but fun. I would say. Not to be confused with that travesty yesterday night on Fox. But anyway, moving on. Uh, that's been a tragedy three times in a row. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh... 
it, this looks amazing. I love how they did bring the gauntlets. I was worried about that because sometimes they'll like want to change up weapons or they'll take too much from uh, too much out of it from the game. Like when you adapt something, yes, you have to change things around and sometimes big things, but you still have to have the essence, the look, the feel. And I'm glad that they kept that, and it definitely shows it off really well. And I can't wait to see Michael Fassbender kick some ass because did you notice that one uh, scene like they play out in the game how like sometimes the game will start glitching into the person. Uh, the uh, the virtual reality world and memories yes. start to glitch into reality and you saw that little moment of that happening with him that was pretty badass and I wasn't expecting that honestly um, even with it coming out around the same time as Rogue One I think that uh, I, I'm confident I'm going ahead and going to go ahead and say that this movie is going to do well you're going to see a return on investment with it um, just because, you know, I look at this trailer, and I, I looked at the teaser that came out a while back, and, you know, just looking at them, it, it's, it's got so much feel of the game mixed in with it, merged with it, and it seems like they're doing everything the right way, the best way possible. Um, hell, from this trailer, you know, I watched earlier today, the full-length one, there's, it seems like it's going to have a lot of good action scenes. Yes, you know, you're going to have your slower scenes with more talking that might outweigh screen time with your action scenes, but it seems like they really dial it up and dial it in to bring you that action that you want and everybody's expecting to see. So that's why, I, as far as movie buffs go, I feel that it's going to hold its own. And, you know, as far as the gamers go, they're going to look at it and they're going to go, oh, well, you know, that's just like this part from this game and this part from that game. You know, they're going to keep tying into it and go, oh, my God, this is so good. And it's not, it, it, it seems like it's staying true to the video game. Unlike Cough, Resident Evil movies, Cough, Cough, oh, dear Resident God. Evil 39 that we're on or whatever fucking Cough, one Cough, is. still the same fucking movie as the last one, Cough, Cough. Cough, Cough. God, we all need cough medicine. But anyway, um, but no, I, I feel like this one's going to be very good. Um, I, I like the casting as far as having uh, Fassbender in there, or however you say his fucking last name. You gotta say the whole thing. It's like a pimp named Slickback. Really? A pimp named Slickback. Thank you. Damn, nigga. Okay. That's me. I put K's. Don't put that. Yeah, like three of them. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, uh, I see what you did there. Very punny, sir. Very punny. But, hey, um, I'm not the racist one. Continue. I'm not racist either. Anyway, I, I have a story for that. I think he forgot. That. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm the guy that gets protected for being called Snowflake by the other black guys I work. Vincent says hi. <laughs> anyway, um, no, I. Uh, that sounded oddly sexual. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you know, the the filter, the yellow filter. Yeah, it kind of bugs me when they try to do, it, and it's starting to seem like an. A, a new age cinema thing where they do that stupid filter mm -hmm. to try to set it back in this time or that time or whatever when it used to be like oh the sun's setting let's put in a yellow filter to make it look pretty now it's like oh it's fucking 13 25 yellow filter everything bitch motherfuckers did not see in yellow back then you can make it red <laughs> goddamn color people might have been it. dusty back then but goddamn it not the environment yeah <laughs> it's not a constant sandstorm what the fuck no but uh as far as this movie goes, it looks solid to me. I mean, it, it definitely looks like one I definitely want to check out. Um, but, you know, like um, Carmageddon mentioned earlier, you know, you might see Rogue One turn around and be like, you know what, if I just walk into this theater and sit down, nobody knows that I didn't pay for <laughs> Assassin's Creed. I'm not saying that you should go out and do that. I'm not encouraging that. That is not what I'm Shit, saying. Yeah, I am. Yes. What I'm saying is, I managed to watch four movies in one day and, and stay inside AC when there was a heat wave in Indianapolis in my youth. See, and, and I agree. Like, this could definitely take a little bit of chunk from that. Like, people walking out want to see it. Especially they have uh, impo uh, can't speak. Uh, disposable income. Now, for those of, those, uh, those of us that don't, we're going to have to pick and choose. And I'm in that boat, sadly, because I really want to see both. But it's Christmas time, damn it. Um, I think this is going to do well. Even if it's just a good action movie, that's still the first good video game movie. You know what I mean? And that opens the door for more to come. And to me, this looks like this could be really good. So I can't wait for this to come out. I'm definitely going to see it. How about you guys? 
I plan on it, actually. Sorry. Um, probably will. I mean, usually around Christmas time, New Year's, whatever, me and Deanne go out and see a bunch of movies and stuff. So, I can imagine that we'll see it. I'm trying to remember what we saw last year. I think it might have been Star Wars. I think it was Star think it Wars. Was. We saw it on New Year's Day. Yeah, because we all talked about it after. I saw it and after you guys saw it, we all like discussed yeah. it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to see Rogue One. And since this comes out in the later part of December, it'll still be out during uh, January. So that's when I'm going to use like, my cash flow in January to go see. Um, I like how it's not the same characters from any of the games. That means they're not going to ruin any of the canon. They're not going to maybe mess up a character they're making their own that can also fit nice and snug with what's already happened in the games. You know what I mean? Without overshadowing it, without messing up any of the lore. You know what I mean? And I think they went right with making it not one of the main characters from the games. Yeah, I could see it. I would ruin it if it did. Because then people would, it'd be just like making a movie out of a book. They'd be like, oh my god, this didn't happen. And now it's like, well, guess what, bitch? It's not even related. Fuck you. Exactly. Now, I will love to see how Michael Fassbender pulls off being a Spanish guy with a British accent who is pale white. Um, if it's actually in España, you know, Spain, they are actually pretty pale motherfuckers over there. Some, in case some. you In case you didn't realize, on a globe, because... Hey, it's in Europe. Oh, good job. All right, now he's starting to figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. And he's technically considered Latinos by Hispanics, so therefore they're pale. See? No, but in all seriousness... Now we're going to teach him how to tuck his... No. Oh, oh, uh, you do not tuck... The little fast bender away, buddy. Well, let's talk about fast bender. I was talking about you. Oh, um, and anyway. your little pissing problem. Hey, hey! Just because it water falls down my balls, don't mean that I ain't. Never mind. We'll stop there. I'll stop my rhyming. Hey. <laughs> oh. See, look. So somebody got scared of YouTube. Now he's. I gotta cut this. Oh my god, no! We can't have that in there. He said vagina. Uh. Anyway, um. Shit, you fucked me up. But no, I think I think he's gonna be able to. Uh, I think he's gonna be able to pull it off because you know, with him being British, they probably went through France to go to Spain to hang out down there for a few summers and shit, and you know, probably heard how they talk all weird like and whatnot. Okay, I think that's the end of this topic. <laughs>